They were in high school when they met And things got kind of awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know I don't know about you guys, but for me, fall is my very favorite time of year. It's just so cozy and warm, and I feel like I imagine it being slow just because it kind of goes along with that cozy feeling, but in all reality, fall gets very busy and hectic and chaotic between all the different sporting events you might have, all the family functions, of course you have the holidays upcoming, and fall can just become like a very busy time of year. And so today I had, as you can tell, a lot to get done. Our home had kind of gotten away from us because let's be real, when does it not get away from you? Or at least I'll speak for myself and say my home consistently gets away from me and that's just kind of the stage of life we're in. But I really just wanted to take things slow today and do a little bit of slow homemaking. I really wanted to care for our home, but also make sure to enjoy the process and just kind of take my time throughout it all and let life feel a little bit slower on this day. So I hope no matter what you have going on today, you can take a few moments to yourself and just kind of take things a little bit slower, even if it's just mentally making it a little bit slower of a day and just be able to enjoy the coziness of fall. And if it's still warm where you live, don't worry, you are in good company. It's very warm here in Arizona, but inside I decorated for fall. Everything is feeling nice and cozy inside and we're just making these fall vibes happen even if the outside weather is not really cooperating. So with that, I will pop in here and there on today's video, but I have a lot of really fun, good vibe songs today. So I hope you guys enjoy watching, getting some cleaning motivation and just hanging out with a friend. Here I'm just wiping down our table with a method wood cleaner. This is in the almond scent and I love this scent. It is like the perfect transition scent into fall for me because it's very kind of warm, but it's not those traditional fall scents that you might see. Now I do use this cleaner all year round and I do love it for cleaning all of our wood, but I'm sure in the next few weeks I'm going to be breaking out like my full on fall scents like apple cider is one of my favorites. And there's another one that I cannot remember, but it's a Mrs. Meyer scent. If you know what I'm thinking of, let me know in the comments. But also let me know what is your favorite go-to fall scents.
Hand washing dishes for me can be so calming, especially when I treat it as a relaxing moment and not just checking off a chore on my to-do list. And that was a really big focus for me on this day. As I cleaned our home, I just took my time and I let myself really enjoy homemaking and taking care of our home. And honestly, it ended up being one of the best cleaning days that I've had in a really long time just because of like that little tiny shift in mindset. Now I know we can't always just move slow. There are a lot of days where I can't take my time when I'm homemaking, when I'm taking care of the house, but I can slow my mind down as I do these chores and just kind of enjoy them a little bit more. You guys know I talk about this all the time and it's a lot easier said than done, trust me, because I preach about this all the time, but it's something I'm constantly working on. But just like anything in life, mindset is really going to make or break the situation. So if you have felt really overwhelmed with your to-do list or you know, whatever's been going on in your life, take a step back, maybe try to reevaluate things and see where you can flip your mindset to be something more positive and where you can feel grateful. Because if you are feeling grateful for something, then you're going to enjoy it a lot more and you're not going to feel like that's such a daunting task. Instead, it's going to end up feeling like a blessing. This is a great example of something that I actually would not have noticed most days as you kind of rush through your to-do list, just getting things done and checking them off the list and quickly moving on to the next project. But because I was kind of taking my time as I was drying our knives, I realized how dinged up and not sharp several of them were. Now our main knives that we use every single day, like my big chopping knives, those I sharpen pretty regularly, but the smaller ones specifically kind of were getting neglected. And so I took just a couple extra minutes. It didn't take much time at all. And I sharpened them and I've been noticing a big difference. So there is some other benefits to slow homemaking other than just enjoying the day better and your mindset work and everything you can actually get a lot more extra little things done when you do this let me know in the comments if you ever take days like this or an hour or whenever you're doing your homemaking chores and you're doing your cleaning if you ever just kind of take time to be a little bit more present in your mind when you're homemaking Ago, but how can I forget? We were 16 up all night. Love and heartbreak was our life. We got drunk and smoked your dad's cigarettes. Dreamt of a life in a big town. Skyscrapers and neon lights. Ooh, I still think of you. So behind me here, you can kind of see a little sneak peek of our living room and how I decorated for fall this year. I have to say, I love how everything got decorated this year. I love just how cozy and 
not really in your face everything was, but you walk in and you just feel like sitting down, lounging around, and it's just been my favorite way I've ever decorated. So if you haven't seen my fall clean and decorate video yet, go ahead and check that out. I will leave a link for it down below. And also in that video, I've included a giveaway. So all you have to do to enter into that giveaway is just be sure to comment on the last two videos that I shared, one being the fall clean and decorate, and then one was a house projects video. But of course, all the information for the giveaway is going to be shared in that fall clean and decorate video. We are making some good progress. We have the kitchen, like surface area clean, and also the living room. There is still some stuff that I want to get done back in this area, but I wanna go ahead and jump on into our bedroom for a little bit. One, because once you stay cleaning one certain area for a while, it just starts to become like very monotonous. So I kinda of wanna change the scenery up a little bit. And then I also just want to get our bedroom done and like get the wash going before I start back in here and tackling some other things. So we're gonna go ahead and head into the bedroom and get some stuff done in there. Here we go again with another unmade bed midway through the day. I have been still continuing to struggle with making my bed again. For years and years and years, without fail, I made my bed every single morning and it just felt so good. And I always have shared with you guys how much more motivated I was throughout the day and all the benefits that came from having a made bed in the morning. And then several months ago, I stopped getting into the habit of making our bed every day and I just have not been able to quite grasp it. I'll go like a week where I'll make it all the time or maybe even two whole weeks where I'll make it every day, but it's just not become like part of my morning morning ritual anymore and I really want to get back to that because I really do feel like there is so much benefit to it and there's also just nothing like climbing into a freshly made bed at the end of a long day and your sheets are all nice and crisp so if you have any tips for getting back into a habit like that let me know in the comments if not that's okay I'm just going to continue working on it and when I figure it out finally because I am determined I will figure out how to get this back into my routine I will let you guys know what ends up working for me.
So once I stripped off all of the dirty sheets, got the bed made with the nice clean sheets, including our freshly washed blanket that we lay on the very foot of the bed. I love having that blanket, by the way. I know it's like an extra touch that just kind of adds to the whole bed making process, but I just love the cozy look of it. It's just so, so nice. And especially in the winter when I get a little bit extra cold, it's nice to be able to pull that up and just snuggle with it. But anyway, I got the whole bed made and I went into our closet to grab the dirty bed sheets and the rest of our whites. And I just wanted to get them thrown into the washing machine and started. And of course, there's never just an empty washing machine. I don't know about you guys, but there's always another load that needs to be continued on through the washing cycle. So that means I had to swap out the rest of the wash, including the boys clothes, which we'll be sorting out a little bit later on. And then this powder that I'm adding into all of our whites is Molly suds i get this from grove collaborative but you can also find out on amazon i will have it linked down below on both websites but i love it because it helps keep our whites super white without using bleach I think it's so fun every time we have like some kind of sporting shirt like an nfl shirt in the videos you guys always comment like go pack go or recently our youngest son had a Steelers shirt from his flag football team and you guys were commenting about that but let me know what football team your family goes for here in our house we all started out as packers fans because kyle has been a packers fan for most of his life and now we all are kind of like default Cardinals fans as well because we live here in Phoenix. Uh, of course, if the Packers and Cardinals are going together, we will definitely still root for the Packers. But this year, Luke has actually jumped over to the Chiefs. And then because Noah played flag football as the Steelers, he has become kind of a Steelers fan. And then Liam is like still Cardinals and Packers. So it's been kind of fun that we actually have a few different teams that our house goes for. But definitely for me and Kyle, we are still Packers fans. If you saw either last week's video or the week prior, you probably remember that our little black cat Felix was actually at the vet's office for several days because he was having a urinary blockage. It was actually really scary because his kidney levels were super high and they weren't sure if he was going to make it. Thankfully, he did make it and he is back home doing fine. But one of the things that he's had to do now is actually switch his cat food into a prescription food. And the first few days of this transition were a bit difficult and we were just finding these little throw up spots around the house. So it gave me the opportunity to use my new little carpet cleaner that I got last time and I loved it. I didn't necessarily love cleaning up all of the cat throw up, but this little spot cleaner works super, super well. If you are in the market for one, I'm going to link this down below. It's just incredible how quick and easy it is. And you'll see in just a minute when I'm all done carpet cleaning, but it actually has a self cleaning feature and it's incredible. You know, it's just one of those little things that we get super excited about as a homemaker. I love it. Maybe they'll match my freaks, yeah I 
it kill to see the stars cry Roam in the dark while love hide Let the world know you're mine Oh, uh, ups and downs, no in between Fire and ice burn gasoline You know I love it You know I love it Love and hate, romantic sin Fire and ice gone with the wind Once I got our rug vacuumed with our regular vacuum, I just went in with our cordless Roborock Dyad. This is a wet and dry vacuum. It's amazing because it vacuums your floor and wops them at the same time. You guys have seen me use this a lot of times, but it literally cuts your vacuuming and mopping time in half because it does it both at the same time. And every time I use this, I always get questions how it does with hair. And as you can see, it does very, very well sucking up the hair. It just has a little filter that traps all of that debris and it's really easy to rinse out whenever you're done using it. It never fails. When I use a glass cleaner and paper towel to wipe our windows, I always find myself missing my e-cloths because I swear e-cloths never streak. They just keep your mirrors and windows looking crystal clear. And unfortunately, I actually didn't notice the streaks on the outside until I went back inside and I'd put everything away. So I ended up having to go back later on and re-clean them again with my e-cloths. So if you are looking for something that leaves your windows and mirrors streak-free, definitely check out e-cloths. They are incredible. Because you won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know that I love her so well. She's with somebody else and I will have All right, to... Alright, it's that time. We have to go pick up the kids really quick from school, but then once I get back, we are going to finish cleaning and get the house feeling nice and tidy. What you learned about? What you learned about? Um, well, um, whoa, God, oh, that was way off. Take a drink of my cigarette, bring me out, bring you in. Yeah, take a bite of my burger, baby.
Once the boys got home, we just had them help sort through their clothes that we had washed and that way they could get them all put away in their bedrooms and it really didn't take long. It took a little bit of convincing to have them do this happily, but like I said, it didn't take long at all and then once they were done with this, they were free to get an after school snack or chill for a bit, just kind of whatever. But speaking of after school snacks, we have been kind of running into the issue recently of enjoying your after school snack and then not being hungry for dinner. I don't know if that's an issue for anyone else, but if it is, let me know if you have found any fix to this. I don't really want to say, no, you can't have any snacks after school because I'm sure they're kind of hungry, but also we really need dinner to be eaten and we just need them to be hungry by the time it is ready for dinner. So let me know any tips you have in the comments. Kids are at home now. We got their laundry put away, but it never fails. Once everybody gets home and we're all in the house, it just gets a little bit crazy. So it's been like probably like 45 minutes or so since we got all the laundry done. We had a few things to get taken care of. But before we head off to Luke's football practice, I want to at least get our microwave and our oven cleaned because I don't know when the last time I cleaned them was, but it's been far too long. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle that. So many real life moments in this video and it's not even like a super deep cleaning video but they're just we're just full of them today I think this just reminds me how badly I really need to get back to being consistent in my weekly cleaning routine I think I honestly just need to completely scrap my old cleaning routine and start up with a new one because whenever I am consistent with my weekly cleaning routine Things like this just never pile up and currently it is a never-ending list of the things that I'm falling behind on. Anyway, that's kind of another talk for another day. So here in the microwave, I am just using the Dawn Power Wash Dish Spray to clean the microwave and it works super, super well. Of course, you can use vinegar or heat up some lemon in there and those little tricks work great as well. But if you don't have like a whole ton of stuck on messes, just simple Dawn Power Wash Dish Spray works super great. Now there is my e-cloths coming in hot with zero streaks as usual. This is what I should have used on my glass door in my bedroom, but I learned my lesson, I think. <laughs> I know there's a way to get this whole door off and I feel like if I could get that off I could actually take this out and I think there's gonna be a lot of gross stuff under there so if you know how to do this let me know in the comments I know it can be done I am very close I feel but I don't know so if you guys know how to take your oven door off let me know like send me a link send me a video just explain it in the comments I don't know I'm really curious because I think I'm gonna find something really disgusting underneath there
If you missed last week's video, it was a house projects video where we got several new to us items from Facebook Marketplace, including this new to us fridge. And we also picked up some other used furniture pieces for our upcoming loft makeover. But I have loved reading through the comments on that video because so many of you guys have told me that that has either been a new favorite video or one of your favorite videos that I've ever shared. I think it must have just had like really good vibes in it or something, or you guys enjoyed watching all of the struggles that we came into with all of these like new to us items but either way if you haven't seen that video i will link it down below for you guys definitely check it out and also we always have our house projects playlist which kind of shares the different things that we've done to our home since moving in last year Every time I mop our floors, I'm always like, man, I need to do this like every other day because our floors are so dark that when they are clean, they look so incredible. But then it's like a day or two later, they look just as dirty as they'll look in 10 days because they just immediately show every little imperfection. Now, I don't think I'm realistically going to be able to get around to mopping our floors every other day. But when we do have them mopped, I just want to take a little extra time and like admire them a little bit because they do look so nice and shiny and super, super clean. Let me know in the comments, how often do you mop your floors if you have hard floors? Or if you have carpet, let me know in the comments how often you vacuum your floors. Thankfully, we have our Roborock vacuum that vacuums our floors daily. And that is just a must because we do have so many pets. So that is going to be everything for today's cozy fall clean with me. I really hope that this video was able to not only motivate you, but also just help you relax and kind of decompress. Hopefully you're having a great start to your week or whatever day you are watching this. Thank you so much for being here. I am so grateful that you took the time out of your day to watch this video and just spend some time with me. If you're still needing a little bit more motivation or if you're in the middle of a project and you just want some more company, I am going to link this throwback video. This video is several years old, so some of you may have not even ever seen this old house, but it is a video that a lot of you guys actually found me from and I love that. So if you still need some more motivation, definitely tap on this video on the right side of the screen and either way, I will see you right back here for another video very soon. Bye guys.